September, uh, September will mark the 90th anniversary of the Great Kanto Earthquake. The catastrophe killed more than 100,000 people in Tokyo and neighboring areas. Scientists say they've found what appears to be an active fault in the sea near Tokyo. The finding may provide fresh clues on the mechanism of past and future quakes in the region. A Hiroshima University research group located the fault in November, 20 kilometers off the Miura Peninsula near Tokyo. They used a sonar beam to survey the shape of the seabed 1,200 meters below sea level. The team identified a fault which looks like a cliff with a 5 to 8 meter height. They also found some bulges on the cliff. The location of the fault is where one tectonic plate sinks under another. The researchers say the fault appears to be active and extended, extend along the Sagami Trough. Experts believe the trough could have been formed during seabed activities, including the Great Kanto Earthquake. We were able to make a detailed map of the undersea faults. The results offer important insight into how the ground moved in the past. The researchers believe the new findings will help in devising measures for future disasters. Japanese government officials are investigating workers involved in the nuclear cleanup in Fukushima. They suspect some are endangering citizens by dumping radioactive material. Contractors have been working on the cleanup since July. They have to seal and store radioactive material. But officials with the Environment Ministry are looking into reports that some dumped soil and vegetation in rivers and didn't collect the water they'd used. The officials say they plan to question the workers and find out whether other contractors are also breaking the rules. They say violators face up to five years in jail or a fine of more than $100,000. One hundred and fifty five million yen or one point eight million dollars that's the all-time high price of bluefin tuna weighing more than two hundred kilograms fetched at the year's first auction at Tokyo's Tsukiji market <laughs> Saturday's auction started at around 5 a.m. buyers used hand signals to bid Tuna caught in waters around Japan and flown from overseas covered much of the auction floor. The $1.8 million tuna was caught in Aomori Prefecture, northeast Japan. The price was nearly three times the previous record set last year. The successful bidder was the president of a big sushi restaurant chain. I'm happy to get such a good tuna but it was a bit expensive. We'll sell it for the regular price. We want as many customers as possible to enjoy the fish. Japanese bidders have been facing fierce competition in recent years with overseas buyers, especially from China. Bluefin tuna is increasingly popular there. The Japanese government is about to start looking for new energy resources as most of the country's nuclear power plants have been offline since the 2011 earthquake. Workers will begin conducting test drills about 1,000 meters below the ocean off the coast of Aichi Prefecture in mid-January. They hope to determine whether deep water methane hydrate deposits are commercially viable. Methane hydrate is a type of natural gas trapped in water crystals. If the deposits are proven to exist, they could cover Japan's natural gas consumption for 14 years. The government is also planning to carry out test drilling off Sado Island in the Sea of Japan in April to determine the amount of oil and natural gas deposits that exist. 
Previous surveys have shown that oil and gas reserves exist 2,700 meters below the sea. Demand for imported liquefied natural gas used at Japan's thermal power plants has surged ever since most of the country's nuclear reactors went offline. A powerful earthquake occurred off the southeastern coast of the U.S. state of Alaska. The magnitude 7.5 quake struck at 8.58 UTC on Saturday. The quake's epicenter was about 100 kilometers off the coast of Craig, Alaska, at a depth of 9.9 .9 kilometers. The West Coast and Alaska Tsunami Warning Center says a 15-centimeter rise in the sea level was recorded in southeastern Alaska about an hour after the quake. A regional tsunami warning for coastal areas stretching from the northern tip of Vancouver Island in British Columbia to Cape Fairweather in Alaska was later lifted. Police in the town of Craig say no major damage has so far been reported. Iran has agreed to take part in another round of talks on its nuclear development program. The last series of talks between Iran and six global powers in Moscow in June ended in a stalemate. The Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Saeed Jalili, told reporters in New Delhi that the country has agreed to resume talks in January. A spokesperson for European Union Foreign Affairs Chief Catherine Ashton confirmed that senior officials from the EU and Iran have proposed a time and a place for further talks. The six powers have been demanding that Iran halt production of uranium enriched to 20 percent. They're concerned that the material could be used in the development of nuclear weapons. Iran says its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes. 